Hey guys, this is Mark Hutton with adultaspergerschat.com and I got an email from a neurotypical woman who's in a relationship with a man with Asperger's syndrome and she's asking, why is my husband so sensitive to criticism? It seems as though everything I say, he perceives that as me being critical and then he gets very defensive and then the arguments start. Well, in order to answer that question, we really have to talk about the amygdala, which as many of you know is just uh, a part of your brain but it's more than just any old part. It is the fear center of the brain. It's helped us, it helped us survive back in the day, quite honestly. And people with Asperger's syndrome do tend to have an overly active and even in some cases physically enlarged amygdala. And so that would explain uh, briefly, you know, why they have such anxiety. The disorder comes with anxiety, but also they grew up in an environment that reinforced that anxiety, uh, namely uh, knowing that they just could not fit in socially. The link between the amygdala and fear processing does indeed shed a lot of light on how anxiety can take root in a child's mind, the child having high functioning autism or Asperger's, and then develop into long-term problems as an adult. Now, the link between the amygdala and anxiety served us really well back, you know, two million years ago when we were cavemen and we were facing life-threatening dangers every day. So let's say, for example, you encountered a saber-toothed tiger and this tiger greeted you with a very loud, threatening growl and his big incisor teeth were glaring at you. And so your amygdala would jump into action and trigger a fear response rather than encouraging you to go over there and pet the kitty, right? So in this case, you would either fight or flee or hide. But in addition, since this experience was accompanied by strong emotions, it would also be processed into a lifelong memory. So in other words, the next time you left your hut or your cave or whatever, you would generalize. In other words, you would know that all tigers, not only the one you met, are dangerous and you therefore would wisely avoid being around them. Now this was very useful back then, but in modern life it creates a huge problem, especially if you're already hardwired to have an overly active amygdala like people on the autism spectrum and all across the spectrum have. So now fast forward to today, a child with high functioning autism or Asperger's is unfortunate to experience unsuccessful attempts at making friends, keeping friends, and socializing. In many cases, he wants to make friends, he just can't quite fit in, and so he gets ostracized, rejected, ridiculed, and even bullied. The uncomfortable feelings this will inevitably produce, coupled with the memory processing of the amygdala, will unfortunately start a vicious cycle of generalization and avoidance behavior. And what this means is the child will associate people with distressing emotions, and that'll stimulate anxiety, which will in turn reduce the child's ability to interact with people and interpret their behaviors positively. So when I say he generalizes, he in essence makes a thinking error that because these one or two people mistreated me, therefore all people will mistreat me. Now you fast forward to adulthood, where this person is trying to get into a romantic relationship with a neurotypical, he's already on guard. He's already been through a lifetime of rejection and ridicule, and now he's in the situation where he has to be highly social, which is not his cup of tea. And since he struggles socially, relationship problems inevitably occur. And as his partner tries to correct the relationship, sometimes this gets downloaded in his brain, the Asperger's brain, as criticism. And he has flashbacks to previous criticism. And so he is quick to feel like he's being yet again ridiculed, put down, and made to feel like shit. You could think of your Asperger's husband in this case as someone who has a severe sunburn. And you know when you've ever had a severe sunburn, just a touch just a mild touch by somebody else leaves you screaming. And so your Asperger's husband has already suffered some emotional damage from social failures previously in his life. And so now the slightest touch, in other words, the slightest positive or even constructive criticism will be felt as painful criticism and put downs. I hope that makes sense. And at, at the very least, maybe you can understand why he is so super sensitive to criticism.